Hey everyone, welcome. Do you remember the time when the Wolf Toot remote was the one remote to have? Well, I still have one in use today on my wife's bike. Still performs as good as new. But in the last few years, if I look for good quality product that didn't break the bank, I found myself gravitating towards a couple of products. The ones produced by my fellow Canadians at 1UP and also the guys at PNW. But when it comes to dropper pose remotes, these guys at PMW give us more options. What I have for you folks today is version two of their loam dropper remote, version one, and this little gem that I think you're gonna like. Let's check them out. And I did say more options from PMW because if you look at their website, you're gonna find a one by lever, you're gonna find a two by lever, and even drop bar levers for those fancy gravel rides with the dropper post. This loam lever version two is right next to the version one on their site. How are they different? We're looking at the redesigned box. This new one is smaller with bigger branding on it. Old one had a sleeve. And here on the back, you're gonna see the details. What we're looking at here is a big part number up top. All their levers are black. And this has the black thumb pad with seven colors offered. And they all come with the standard 22.2 millimeter bar clump included in the box. Everybody loves QR codes these days, so point your camera phone. This is gonna go to their website where you can read more information about their lever. And here at the bottom, you're gonna see that this is made in Taiwan. Version one launched in 2018 has a thank you card. Version two in 2022 has a thank you card as well. And you also have another QR code. Scan that one to get to the downloads where you're gonna find the actual manual. I love the fact that they use recycled cardboards and you see version two coming with this bar clamp with the screw already attached. The older one had the bar clamp and the actual bolt separate, but it does the same thing. Also, if you look here underneath, version one also included an inner cable. If you look at version two, that inner cable is not in the box, but you can order the whole cable kit from their site. In the intro, I refer to this bag as being a little jam. I was referring to this, the Puget remote, the cheapest remote that they have. They use the same name for the two by, and I believe the combination of this and the Wolf Tooth remote gave birth to our version two loam remote. For this budget option, you get this small parts bag, Puget level, par number, this is a one by and 22.2 millimeter clamp. However, as opposed to the other two remotes, this comes with an inner cable, an outer cable. Look at the, all these little parts. So you have the bar clamp, the actual lever, and everything else that you need to terminate this. So from a value standpoint, I would definitely consider this the best out of the three. And here's the lever lineup with the Puget here at the bottom, followed by version two and version one of the loam lever. And the one the huge difference between this and the other two is what makes these two levers very similar to the good old wolf tooth, the big sealed bearing that they are pivoting on. As opposed to that, this is just a little pivot that is pretty nice and tight right now. Bearing or not, they pivot around the same point, so cable pull should be the same. And the lever length from that pivot point is a bit over two inches or 52, 53 millimeters. That is pretty much the same on all of these levers. For those interested about weight, Puget is 29 grams, version one is 33 grams, and version two is 37 grams. The Puget lever is forged aluminum. The loam is CNC'd machine from a large piece of aluminum with both levers using black anodizing for the finish. However, from this angle, you will start to notice the few major differences between these two. First of all, the version two has three attachment points here and that gives you more installation flexibility. And if you wanna integrate it with the brakes when ordering from their website, pick either a matchmaker or iSpec EV or iSpec 2 that are also available. Second change introduced by version two is the shape of the thumb pad, but this shape was used before with the Puget lever. 
with version 2 providing this silicon thumb pad that is glued in cannot be removed like with one up they call it a yoga mat for your thumb and you can color match this with your grips or pedals version 1 offered the same silicon only six colors to choose from but i think the ergonomics of this version 2 are probably a bit better both the tightening screw for your cable and the retaining bolt for the bar clamp are made out of stainless steel you're gonna need a three millimeter allen and you do have the classic barrel adjuster here at the end the installation of a lever like this is fairly simple and it's pretty clearly documented in their user manual with the exception of this lever position set screw that they only talk about in the marketing materials this already has loctite on it okay but look at this the lever is now straight versus the original position so it all has to do with ergonomics and where your lever starts moving from at least in canada pnw offers a 20 percent discount at least a few times a year and with that i consider this loam version 2 remote one of the best out there one that i wouldn't hesitate to recommend but that would still be second to this little shimano remote especially if you're running shimano brakes i will make sure to link those two videos somewhere in here on the page and if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe comment be active in the discussion and until next time I will see you folks on the trails. Cheers guys, cheers.